This playthrough is rated T for teen. How much do you trust a person that just decided to join you randomly because they hate everything that you are and we put them in the team? It's almost like they're expecting to do something against your wishes. Greetings and salutations viewers while we're back here with another episode of Front Mission. In the last episode we went to the Lark Valley to see if that could be used as a base, but in the last war it became pretty much decimated so it's not even worth the time to build something there. At least that's what it seems like, but uh, how will we report that to the our officer will find out. And yeah, Mari, who is a if you're playing the DS version, Mari is actually named Molly, and yes, Mari is a woman. It's just, she's a very uh, large woman uh, with a, uh, you know, large tracks of land, if you know what I mean. So uh, just, uh, uh, she's her own type of charm, I guess, except she hates us and probably wants us dead, so maybe not. Anyway, Colonel also wants a reconnaissance report. Let's go to the office. Me and JJ have some business to take care of. We'll be right back. Fine. We'll just go by ourselves, Lloyd. Alright, let's head to the office. Well, Lloyd, is the area suitable for a base? Negative. All the buildings have been uh, reduced to rubble. Even a barren field would be better than this. I see. I'll notify our superiors of this. You are to await further instructions. Yeah, except we're going to go do our own thing, aren't we? Oh, what, what do you think? I owe you one now? What are you talking about? talking about my town. Don't think that you can get on my good side by reporting that it isn't suitable for a military base. I just reported the truth. It's awful, Elite. Keith and JJ have gone to the military attack. Attack? Where? I think that they heard a rumor about some supply car station north of Lark Valley. I tried to stop them, but they said there's no way they'd miss a chance like this. Must find them immediately. Take me with you. Okay, I guess we will. We still don't trust you. But anyway, Mari joins the team. However, in this next encounter, Mari is not going to be controllable. However, we can customize her mech, which we want to do. So, yeah, she's in a Tomy right now. What now? Right now, we do not want her to have any weapons. So let's go ahead and remove her Igudi Type 5 rifle. So take that off. And obviously... Get, now, if you don't care about what goes on, I mean, this mission, if she when she if she if dies, it doesn't really affect anything money-wise. But I just want to show, keep her alive as long as she can, even though she probably doesn't deserve it. But you'll find out why here in a second. But anyway. So let's put her in something better than what she's got. Oh, boy. All right. I'm just going to put her in. Uh, you can either put her in the uh, Zerid or the Frost. Either one would work in this case. I'm just going to put her in the Frost. Uh, I think on everything. I mean, yeah, just because you get more HP and everything with that. I mean, the defense is good, a little bit better on this red, but it's not so major that it, uh, that the HP boost, boost will work fine. Uh, in this case, I'm going to give her the better legs, though, just so she has better movement. Don't need to put a computer on her, so she's good to go. Oh, wait, one more thing. Almost forgot to <laughs> buy, uh, buy uh, parts for her shoulders. I need to give her a uh, shield. Thank you. Uh, do I want to do both? I mean, I have the money, so yeah, we'll put a shield on both, even though we don't really need to. Just in case if one of our arms get blown off or something like that. So okay, so we're done bu building up her. Also, I need to put uh, an item on Fred or uh, um, Frederick, I believe. I used a item on the last episode, so. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put a flash grenade on one it, even though they're kind of expensive. But. Well, 160. I mean, you could just go to the Coliseum to get more money, so. Alright, let's see what they say at the office, even though. You were to remain within communication range and await further instructions. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and break that like we always do and yet never get in trouble for it, really. Actually, I think I forgot to talk to people at the bar last time I was here, so let's go and do that now. Uh, nowadays, both the OCU and the USN use Vonzers made by Sakata Industries. They must be pretty good, eh? You know that they got the hell of a marketing team. Galna. Gugui is strong. He is even stronger when out of his machine. Well, I guess we know that from last episode, I guess. Before the war, the male river that flows east of this town was the border. Now the OCU has finally taken back its territory. And Carl. This place has degenerated ever since it was invaded. Now everyone only cares about the Coliseum fights. Well, usually when you don't have to mess with an immediate war, you have to find some entertainment somewhere, so why not some other forms of violence? So. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, do a quick backup save and head on out. The, oh, and also, obviously, since you got money for this mission, if you need to upgrade your max that you couldn't before and didn't want to want money grind, go ahead and do that, but I've already done all that, so. Yeah, it looks like we've got quite a few supply trucks there. It's just as Mari said. Oh, Mari told you to be here. Hmm, I wonder. But there are Vonzas, too. That old woman didn't mention those. We'll take them by surprise and run with the cargo. Let's go. Keith, JJ, wait. Lloyd. Both of you fall back now, but that's an order. What do we do? There's no other choice than to fall back. Over here, there's OCU soldiers in the area. Mari, what are you doing? That, that old bitch, she set us up. Yeah, she set us up here, so yeah, this is what you get for having a person join you who clearly hates your guts, you know. So anyway, put whoever you want to in the party. So, uh, actually, oops. All right, let's go. Yeah, I could, JJ and Keith are required for this one, so then you choose eight characters. Uh, Mari is AI controlled. The reason why I put her in the mech she does, she's just gonna run ahead and kind of encounter these guys right here. So I gave her a shield so she'd survive. So our plan is to basically take out this close group first, then deal with uh, Mari's assaulters, and then finish up whoever's left. So anyway, let's look at the enemy units. We've got missilers here, whoops. I always keep pressing the wrong button. So. All right, we got our, uh, fire, our attacker units are in Genoms. So decent stats, they have level 10s. And they got Genom Punch and Sun Owl missile launchers. And then we got the commander units and moths. Uh, they're pretty nasty at this point, mainly because of what they've got on them. They're level 11. And they got Leo Social and Dark Hog machine guns and Sun Owl and Egret missiles. So they've got, they got all types of defenses. So yeah, another commander unit there. Then we've got the, uh, oops. <coughs> then we've got the carriers from last time. But I'll go over them again. We've got 200 HP, uh, level 11. Yeah, I got high agility, and uh, they got Empire rifles. So, and then we've got the attackers and the Grops, or this one's in the Grop anyway, level 10. And they got the Grop punch and the Empire rifle. And final. Oh, no, I already did the, that. So, all right, and that's it for all of them. So, all right, let's uh, move everyone else. Oh yeah, and obviously, if you want to move through this map pretty efficiently, I would uh, get something with uh, legs. It, so don't buy treads if you if you can help it here. So, because uh, if you have legs, you can actually move through the the uh, these areas really easy. If you don't, well, then it's a little bit more difficult. As it were. Now I said I want to take out the close group first before we help Mari. Because Mari can handle herself as long as you gave her the defensive equipment. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. Attack! Attack! I said! I said attack! Yeah, rain right down from above. More missiles. So. <laughs> One missile. That's what I get for, you know, having people that don't have the best long-range stats, you know. But it's so dangerous to get up close. You could easily lose your limbs pretty quickly, depending on the, uh, what happens, you know. Yeah, almost blew his legs. Didn't, got a bit unlucky with the body type, but eh, that's the randomness of this whole thing. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I can't move. Yeah, Pee Wee's gonna have a bit of a trouble with this with this mission, so. Huh, you soldiers could just go ahead and kill each other. Except they're gonna go fight you, so. Uh, let's try with the hex, or grave, I mean. Oof. They took out the legs, but they took quite a bit of damage to the arm. Hmm. I'm off to heal that. Yeah, this is why repair er, items are always good throughout the whole game, no matter what it is, so. Because <clears throat> there's always a chance you'll need to use them, so.
<clears throat> yeah, it took a bit of damage. Yeah, the problem with this section is possibly getting um, just missiled to death because you could get easily get trapped in the uh, in the uh, forest here. So, Let's see, that's a that's a missile as well. So. <laughs> Take you. At least have you distracted so you're not fighting him. Alright, a couple of good hits. A hit. A mighty hit. Let's see, I might move JJ back so I can get Frederick in. Get the missilers, unfortunately, but it's fine. Ah, so close. Finish you off with that note. Can we do it? All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm only hitting the meleeers and not the missile guys, but now we had to weaken them eventually anyway, so why not? Well, even if I miss with anything, if I hit it in the body, that's uh, my that's that's the one I want. Yeah, they say we're gonna have trouble with the uh, missiles from people, so you know, perhaps they have trouble with. Oh, oops. I uh, I think I think my controller might be starting to go bad because every once in a while it'll press a button that I didn't tell I didn't tell it to, and it'll just like start acting weird, so. So apologies for that, because I swear I'm not pressing anything when that guide button pops up, so. Not close enough for me. All right. I might have to go this way. Just gotta go all the way around. Again, a level for Natalie. All right. All right, here they come. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to punch you. Huh. Well, there you go. Took out, took out your attack thing. Now, how do you feeling about that? once, but his guard stat isn't that high, so. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll counter with the grave on it. Not bad, Natalie. Too bad his agility is so fast. So. I'm surprised it just decided to go melee, so. Whoa! Blocked most of it, so. <laughs> um, I almost forgot a voice. To, I, I know what voice I gave him. It's just like, that old woman is under attack. We'll assist Mari. Let's move out. 
It's because Frederick almost gets no lines in the game. So well, there's actually quite a few characters we get that almost get like no lines. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't missile the crap out of her. Usually they start missling her before they get to it. They didn't even go after Frederick. Why? He was like right there. I'm, I'll admit I'm not very good at guessing the en enemy AI's like, like attack patterns in this game as opposed to like other games in the series. Because usually you can kind of pretty good, but I'll admit I haven't played this game like a billion times. Actually, out of all the front mission games, the second game is the one I played the least. Weirdly enough, even though I like that game. <clears throat> front mission is probably the next. The Probably the one I played the most is obviously uh, front mission. Probably front mission three is probably the one I played the most. I'd say out, out of all of them. Because it is a really good game, especially with all the play time you get. In. You get two whole paths. Man, crazy. This one did eventually get two paths, but wasn't until the remakes where they decided to add a different path room. So. Let's get rid of these misslers if we can. <clears throat> yeah, they're gonna be doing all that damage. Whoops. I hate when I do that. Oh man, we've been missing all the time. What the heck, game? Oh, no, no, no. Now remember, egrets are not top option if I have multiple ranged attacks, so. Yeah, I don't, I, I think my controller's starting to go wonky, because <clears throat> I didn't even press anything for that to happen. Man, I'm either missing shots or getting like almost once, uh, one shot, you know. Man, all right. It's all about a bit of bad luck. Well, and my hit percentage isn't the maxed out, and my long stat isn't uh, super good on a lot of my guys. Because a lot of them weren't designed for long um, long weapons, you know. But this is what happens when you make every single person a long weapon user, so. See how Alder does on uh, mailing this guy. See if it's worth. Oops. See who I'd fight next. So. Wait, is that an Alder? Who's that again? Sakata. Gotcha. Whoops. That's Alder. <laughs> uh. Righto. does not want me to hit with missiles today. Oh, and I missed. What the heck? <laughs> and he's got a really good fight stat, too. So, And his fight stat levels up pretty well. So, Yeah, it just goes to show. It was like, sometimes luck will be with you. Luck be a lady tonight, but uh, not in this case. Missiles. Hmm. Took out one of those. Maybe hitting that guy with missiles would be more effective. Nah, I need to finish off the other. Missiles are the bigger threat, so. There we go. Alright, get him legs for defeating that missile there. I'm just gonna piss eight the crap out of you. Eight missiles to the face. If only that was the case. Wow, 
Well, the one that mattered is all that mattered. Now we get a repair S for that. Now you're all back. Wait, why are you all backing off? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna take her forever to bust through, so. So she can handle it all day long. Only be could have left her in the original outfit though, and she gets immediately destroyed, which, you know, better for her really. But... Yes. Try getting some I need to have her do sh more short damage anyway, so. Yeah, she's taking quite a bit of damage. Missile action in. Come on, hit with actually more than one this time. No better than nothing. Yeah, help with that situation there. be able to move the other guys towards Mari at this point maybe. Okay, yep, you're nothing you can do now. You're worthless. I mean you can punch, but yeah. You know. But your punch isn't that strong because you're not designed for it. And I stunned him too. It's not like you'd be able to do anything anyway, but soon. Yeah, you can tell Grigori is fighting against this thing because he had 16, 1,600 points dedicated to that, so. That yeah, took out your main weapon. Awesome. I guess every once in a while something good happens, so. I guess really the only other one would be this one, but... Yeah, we'll just... We'll hit him with that, save the Piz 3 for a commander or something like that. Whoops. Oh, man. At least the Piz 3 would have had three shots as opposed to the two. And since he can't do a whole lot... It'll give Natalie some short, give her a chance to get some short experience, so. Yeah, I guess let's go help, uh, Maria, since we, since we're, those guys are pretty much done. Actually, she might, might, uh, stick. Oh, wait, I can't get up there anyway because of the... Actually, I'll just have a back down here. It's just too annoying to have you uh, do that. You go and move through the trees is super annoying anyway because of your the, your movement type. Yeah, normally they would have already defeated Mari if we didn't do anything. I wonder how many people first play the game just to assume... Uh, just assumed Mari was just like, just left her, didn't even want to use her character, and then like, whoops, you know. Let's have you punch this guy in the face. Come on, buddy. There we go. Just got just out of range. Don't you have a... Yeah, I was about to say, you should have some missiles. Well, now he's not. Now he's only going to be moving one, one spot per turn. So. Oh, right. 
that's a weird little spot. I can still help. Or not. Wait, does he have missiles? No? I th it's just because of the trees and movement and everything like that, so... Anyway. Looks like we have another turn before we can do anything with that, so... I guess I'll hit him with a missile then. Do a bit more damage to him, so. Oh, there you go. Missiles right now. Alright, level up for Lloyd. Level 14. And yeah, you can tell his long stat is like way higher than a short stat, which is usually what he's designed for, but... But that's based off using it every time, so... Yeah, that, that experience slowly goes up over... I guess that was a bit overkill. I probably could have given that to Frederick. Although Sak Sakata does need some experience, so... Yeah, level 9, so... So you might as well, I mean, other than to move them towards their location, maybe move them towards the truck. Yeah, start working on the uh, commander there. Move some lucky shots there. That way we can get a... over here so we can uh, get our missiles refilled. Yeah, you're still gonna take a while till till you guys move. They pretty much won't really move until we get pretty much like right up on them. Yeah, just keep holding out. Keep defending. Don't worry about it. It's fine. As long as they're not missling us, I can I can accept that. is kind of annoying for like moving on it you know yeah, I guess I could refill next turn get all those missiles then so let's say you better hit with something I didn't, I didn't give you all, I didn't spend like millions of dollars and to have you all just, just sit on your butts and yeah, might as well use that turn to supply. I think I used most of her misses if I remember, so. Probably, but yeah, probably what I'll do is I'll have this group go after that commander. So yeah, let's have everyone. I'll slowly move uh, Frederick over that way. Do you have another? Yeah, you have one more, so I can afford to do that. are gone, but they weren't going to move anyway, so, you know. The only annoying thing is having to hit that one missiler because of where they're, where they're at.
And the reason, I, oh, by the way, the reason I didn't give Mari a weapon is because I didn't want her to take all that damage. Because if you gave her a weapon, she would uh, attack with that. Although, t I mean, technically she could punch, but that's not. All right, Scotta, you have to supply. That way we can prepare for the next set of engagements. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit a couple of body shots. Ah, wow. I was actually joking. I didn't actually expect that. Because you know how the game is working against me. Resupply cowboy there. Do you have any more missiles? Or are you, uh, you're out, so. Um, uh, I can take the risk. Oh, come on. That looked like it didn't do much damage for me. Are you out of missiles? Oh, you are. Well, that's annoying. Wasn't paying attention to my, uh, my missile stuff. Let's see, what do you Do you have any more missiles? Are you out too? Yeah, you're out. Let's see, I already supplied with you, so I can... Wait, did I? Well, he hadn't really been using it, so, but, yeah. No, that's why. I meant to have him stay there. I meant to move the truck there, yeah, so he could just supply in his turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not even, <laughs> not even doing anything now. Hmm. All right, resupply you. Now I can move towards that destination. Just got hit with long range. I might hold off on mid missiles since I want to use on the, the rest of the group there. Man, why are you guys sucking so much? <laughs> why, why are the odds... Like, the odds are now hurting me at this point in the game. After all this time. Yeah, nice try. Let's see. Uh, I should have moved. Hold on. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Well, I, I didn't know they were going to start actually moving at this point, so. Actually, it might be better to stay in close at this point. I was going to try a long range attack, but there we go. All right, you get to level, level 13. Yeah, I'll have to, just because of the way the stuff is, can't use my note that, well I could, but I'd rather get multi attack so. All right. All leveled up. 13. Yeah, you can see. Have you noticed how all my stats are like super, have long, have big long stats, but that's it, so. All right, time to move down this way. Towards that other group. I think I might have moved a bit too close there. Oh well. Go 
Guard it up, baby. No! Why did it only block the first section? Why? Why, why, why? Yeah, Keith, Keith is getting pr keeping pretty close to long and short uh, experience. Let's have you guys move ever so closer. Yeah, I've definitely got to heal that arm next turn. Yeah, taking way too much damage there. Hey, we actually hit for once. Hooray. Go around and hit him from behind, I guess. Yeah, let's try to get. Maybe we'll get lucky with a single shot. I mean, hit him in the leg, sure. I mean, he can't move around if his legs are damaged, I guess. And yeah, Mari is basically going to stay uh, right where she is the whole time, so... Mm. Yeah, let's try the rifle again. Getting pretty lucky with my rifle shots. I mean, the rifle has a pretty decent hit. It's like 80, 80 points or whatever, so... I forgot what arm she's... Thinking which arm to use just because it was about that one was about to get destroyed, so. so where's the other yeah we're we're getting there. We're coming up on them. And yeah, I hit them with the yeah, I don't wanna waste. Well actually, no, no. Almost they're almost dead anyway, so no point. Unfortunately, the supply trucks don't really get much experience, I mean, for obvious reasons. Yeah, we gotta be careful about moving too close. Let's go ahead and restore her left arm. go and move around just because there's all these trees and everything like that. Yeah, it's like the danger with actual jungle combat. You know, having trouble moving through everything. Even though we're giant mechs, you know, who should be able to just, you know, kind of just waltz our way through these guys. You know, we could just destroy all the trees, but you know, we don't want to hurt nature now, do we? That would just be terrible. Yeah, you all you guys have long range, so I can try to pick you off at far, far away. Oops. Yeah, I wonder if it's my start button. This might be blonky. Yeah, let's try the grave this time, just to maybe we'll get finish off the arm and the legs. Or the body. That'll work. That is good. I approve. Anyway, get the repair S for that. Yeah, I'll just set the truck in a decent middle of the road spot. Yeah, sure, why not? Reduce my time to worry about it. 
Oh yeah, I gotta remember. I know his long stat isn't very good. Of course, I'm gonna pop a high chance of missing. Still, it doesn't mean I want it to happen. Yeah, I didn't remind myself to give Grigori another uh, melee weapon for his other hand. So. Wow, what the? There's, there's, sta there's standing targets, dude. All right, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to move. I'm gonna block you. And you're gonna miss. Hey, if they miss too, I'll, I'll accept. If I, if I miss all the time and they miss all the time, then unfortunately that will drag out the game a lot. But hey. Might as well just put everyone next to the truck so when I want to refill, just do that in the next turn, so. Are you serious? All three missed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He didn't use any ability or like uh, chafe grenades, as far as I'm aware of. So he shouldn't be he shouldn't be dodging me every every chance he gets. Huh? Am I just getting really unlucky? I mean, I know the I know sometimes the environment can slightly affect percentages, but it shouldn't be affecting it that badly. You know what I mean? Especially since we're right next to them, by the way. That's pretty annoying, actually. Missing like every other turn. Actually, every every shot I missed. Yeah, we can actually hit something for once. Ugh. Let me guess. I'm gonna miss with a melee weapon, right? No, we actually didn't miss. Oh, whoops, don't want, to, don't want to go down there. I'll get stuck in the trees. Yeah, you also kind of have to pay attention to the map just to make sure you're not, like, getting stuck behind something. All right, will we actually hit this time? Again? Yeah, so Kyle needs the level, so I'm glad he's I'm giving him more experience this year. Actually the other group's gonna eventually go towards them anyway, so This is what happens when you get a decent decent weapon, you can see all that damage add up pretty quickly. Yeah, here they come. Oh yes, they actually chose to go after Frederick. He's actually being able to be, you know, doing his purpose, which is being the meat shield. Ah, well, can't, can't, can't win them all, I guess. shots again wow and yet i miss all three shots they get all three shots and my shield blocks off after a point so yeah, a little bit more damage this time and yeah, i have to heal her yeah we'll guard since since she's about to lose an arm anyway and her body's about to die too. There's that. I have to have her back off. Everyone up, up and about. Now, uh, yeah, we'll have him. We'll have him go towards this group. So. So I can start mailing that guy if I can. Now 
was going to stand still, but I need to get some missile action in on these guys. Oh, whoops, golly. <laughs> well, at least it hit where I wanted it to, so. It's just, you know, I didn't use the, the, the one item again. She'll block anyway, if it come, can, comes down to it. Man, long range is not working well for me this episode. Anyway, Frederick gained a level. I mentioned he a level. Slowly but surely, we're moving down. Down, down to Goblin Town. Alright, see if we can... Hit that guy in the body. He's taking no damage, really. Yeah, might as well just get up on them. More misses, more misses. And obviously, you should save the supply trucks for last because they're the least, th least threatening dudes, you know. Should be probably we're probably the final turn of it. I think we are anyway. It just kind of screams final turn, you know, or at least close to final turn anyway. Ah, so close. I'm just seeing if I need to have Cowboy finish him off or Alder. Very close. Oh, I should probably should move there if I want if I want to have him come in at the last second. Oops. No. Let's try the grave. More chances to hit. Ah, so close, man. Yeah, her short stat isn't as strong, so she's not doing as much damage as she could. Not like Natalie. Natalie's probably our best short short uh, weapons user at this point. Maybe Actually, maybe I should have used the... I was about to say, maybe I should have had him use his grave, just because, you know, if he missed with one shot, there was a chance he was going to hit with another, but yeah, it worked out in my favor. Yeah, we got the 22 SN Leo Social Machine Gun for... Feeding that guy? Alright, hopefully these m hit this time. <laughs> well, the one that was important was the one that was important. That's been happening quite a bit in this game. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it, do the regret just because, you know. Don't want her to lose her arm or body by getting like right up on that guy, so. Okay, maybe one it might be one more turn, maybe. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Dang it. I meant to move him, but uh Actually, maybe we should have Pee Wee go, go out against them, you know, truck on truck action. You know, usually you have to pay per view this type of stuff, you know, monster trucks or, uh, what was it, um, 
No, I think I said it was monster trucks. You know, those big trucks that crush other cars. I haven't seen a monster truck in forever, though. I think I only went to one show. Uh, it was entertaining, for sure, but, you know. Oh, so close. All right, Frederick. Let's do it. I believe in you. They're done! Yay! Whew. Sheesh, that was terrible. Why did you try to help me? I don't know. Well, there you go. It's just like a lot of things we do in life. What we can't, what do we do? We can't keep her in our squad. Yeah, she tried to get us killed. I don't want JJ. I don't want to get set up again. Uh, it won't happen again. Promise, pinky swear, cross my fingers, hope to die, get a needle in my eye. Man. What did you just say? I won't forgive Lloyd, but I'll never do something like setting you guys up again. Please take me along. I have your word? Oh, he is, I have your word. Mission complete. All right. And yeah, see, Mari... As you can tell, there's no extra money for, like, keeping Mari alive, so there was no extra bonus. It was whatever we get from destroying the enemies. So, and Mari's not even on the expensive thing, so if she died, it wouldn't have mattered, so. All right, well, Mari's now part, officially part of the crew for some reason, but hey, why not? So, let's head on to, we're going to head on to Freedom and find out what our next job is. What is it? What it will entail our, our companions to work together towards? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.